Hi there, this is Melissa. I am with Twisted Glitter Boutique. It is my own little small business that I run. And I'm here to give you a tutorial today on how to make a beaded wristlet keychain with uh, an acrylic link. I'm going to be making the one that I have for Zindi.com today. This is their little zombie girl that has inspired the colors I'll be using today to make this acrylic. First, I'm gonna be using um, some UV resin. This is the type I like to use. You just buy this on Amazon. I put a thin layer down on my acrylic blank. And this acrylic blank I did buy from Zindi. It is a two inch letter. So we'll just spread all this out. Cross this here. And in case you have any other questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me or message me. This is my very first uh, video and tutorial video I've ever done. So kindness, <laughs> kind words only, please, would be appreciated. All right, so you just go right around that hole there very carefully. Make sure to even that out a little bit. It's a little bumpy. Okay, perfect. Now, in order for me to do my blended, the ombre techniques, I take my first color here. We're going to use raindrop today. And I'll sprinkle that across the top. It's kind of thick. There we go. And you'll see that I have a piece of scrapbook paper underneath it because I want to catch as much of the excess glitter as possible. The Z is a little difficult, but... I'm gonna move it off like that so I can save this glitter and put it back in the jar. And then I'm going to use this other color. I'm gonna use Evil Queen today. Really shimmery and quite pretty. And we'll just do this across the bottom here. And just kind of let them overlap a little bit. It doesn't matter that you have extra glitter on there because we're going to clean that up in just a minute. So then I'm gonna use my UV light and Pop that on there a couple of times. Check on it. So what I always do, just pick it up and shake off all that extra glitter. Uh, that did pretty good. Go around the edges here and just make sure to kind of wipe off, shake off all that extra. That might blend a little bit, but it's okay. Mostly we just have Evil Queen there, so we can put it back in the bag and save that glitter don't want to waste any glitter. Now, everything's looking pretty good. If you have any uh, hangover on any glitter or anything, you can always run just a little bit of some fine sandpaper over it and it'll just kind of clean up, clean up the edges, make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, I don't even know what grit this one is, but not very good help here. All right, but otherwise it looks pretty good. I'm not too worried about it. All right, I go ahead and go put another coat of UV resin on the back because the glitter is pretty uh, chunky on there. Just be careful because that glitter already goes to the edges. It's really easy to have your UV resin run over and spill if you put too much on at this point. So you wanna be really careful with it. Uh, and spreading it just get a nice even coat I use um, this silicone brush this little tool that I got on Amazon and they have pretty little jewels in them nothing too fancy though they weren't expensive or anything just just something to spread out the resin and it won't stick that way the resin will just pop right off the tool at the end and you can reuse them time and time again so i'm just very carefully spreading it out and i get it all the way to the edges while being careful not to spill it over if it does have runoff i'll kind of show you some tips and tricks that i have for that but hopefully we won't have any <laughs> spillover and we won't have to talk about that today we'll talk about it another day 
might have to add a little bit more resin as you go and that's okay uh it's always easier to add obviously you can never take it back off or take it away so sorry this process is a little slow i don't want to mess it up there we go it's looking pretty good so we'll hit it with a little barbecue lighter just pop some of those bubbles in there. I don't usually have too many bubbles. When I work with the glitter, it's usually pretty smooth for me. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that under the light again. And I'm just gonna do it again, 120 seconds, three times. And then it'll be done. Done. I just, I like to run a dry finger over it and it looks like it's all cured. It's good, nice and smooth and shiny off that other side Let's see if we did okay it's not as blended as I would like it but it's okay it'll have you can see that colors in there so it's not quite as as all right but it works all right got two colors anyways so now we're just gonna throw the Zindi name on it, and this is vinyl. I just uh, I cut it out with my Cricut Joy uh, using the Smart Vinyl. So throw that on there, nice and nice and smooth and easy. Perfect. And we're gonna need one last final coat of UV resin on this side to seal that in and give it a nice shine on this side. Oh, I think I broke the tip off my... So I'm gonna be careful not to get it down. doesn't look like it's spilling through yet no. hopefully so we'll hit it with a lighter real fast and just cure it and hope it didn't make a mess perfect all right so that is done now all we have to do is string a bracelet. I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, now we're going to build the bracelet portion of this. I already have my beads laid out. Because of that black and white on the zombie girl, I picked out these really pretty uh, snowflake jasper, and these are 10 millimeter size, and then just some faceted glass beads in black. So here, you're gonna to want to take your stretchy elastic cord. I use this stuff um, and I'm going to use the one millimeter for these bracelets, especially because of the keychains. I want them to be thick and not break easily. Super important tip here. You need to pre-stretch your elastic. So you're going to want to hold on to it and stretch it out. This is usually where I end up snapping myself with it. <laughs> not a very fun part, but uh, make sure that you do that. It's a very important step. You want to pre-stretch that. After that, I'm going to go ahead and put my keychain piece on here. Start with that. And then we're going to start with some beads. And just put these on.
Now in the beginning, before I started, I made sure to pick out a bead that had a pretty big hole in the center uh, to be where I start or finish one or the other. And you're gonna want to do that because you're going to hide your knot inside your bead. So we take this and cross them over and then tuck it under, pull that tight for a second. So you have that right there. I'm gonna take my left hand and I just keep putting my left hand in the back, right hand over the top, and then that left one comes over and through again. You're gonna to wanna to tie that really tight, pull really tight on that. I'm gonna do it one last time. Again, left in the back, right over top, and pull that through. Pull that really tight. Now, there's a couple different types of glue that you can use. I used to do just this, um, which obviously you can buy anywhere just about, just a tiny little dot of that. And recently I started using this one. So you just put a little dot of glue, whichever one it is that you're going to use. Just pull that knot out a little bit. I need to tighten that up a little. But put some glue on there. Make sure that's tight. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hold uh, your string and your bead and you're going to pull the string and push the bead at the same time, trying to get that knot inside that bead. There we go. Don't pull too hard too fast. <laughs> It'll come out the other side. So once you get that knot inside that bead, that'll be hidden really well and it just makes it look so much cleaner and nicer. So. clip that there you go just like that it is done, ready to go, ready to ship that out and stretch it right over. And that's how you do it. Thanks for joining me.